Hey, 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 Cancer. This is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your reading. So this is going to be a reading for my Cancers, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Cancer. If you would, before you leave, I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your like, shares, and subscribe. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. And please do use that link in the description box to my Etsy shop if you are interested in a reading. As there are scammers about and impersonators about the tarot card community. So do know also that when I, you do purchase a reading from me that you will see my face in a video. And that you will always receive a link from me unlisted that will be on here forever and ever for your private reading. Alright, so cancer don't forget to comment as well let me know if this resonates and hit that notification bell you have the knight of wands the two of wands the ace of swords and the knight of pentacles there's a lot of optimism about where you're going and what you're desiring for your future here Okay, you may have felt like it's been slow going lately. Like, geez, am I ever going to get anywhere? Am I ever going to get to where I want to be? But I feel like something happens where there's this moment of clarity that places you within a very healthy mindset about how you're going to move forward. You're very clear about how you're going to do this. Some of you could be moving as well. And I feel like this is going to give you that fresh start that you need. Now this could be moving, literally physically moving, or this could just be leaving the past behind and moving forward, right? So tell me about this Knight of Wands. Page of Swords, okay, so you've really done a lot of introspection uh, regarding your game plan here, right? With the Death card, I feel like there's been a lot of internal uh, transformation going on. So you're not just like running into this, okay? The sun card. This is making you extremely happy. Now for some of you, I am getting this could be a lover. This could be a person that you're moving towards. This may have taken you a while to get there. But now that you're here, you're wanting to just move forward in that direction, in their direction. This could be, I'm feeling fire. Tell me about the two of wands, fire sign, six of pentacles. Oh, I see. So, okay, a lot of you had a decision between two people and something happens where you have this clarity. That's why it's been slow going. Three of wands, yeah. So <laughs> you've been waiting a while for this. You've been waiting a while and now it's like the time is the time is here, the time is now. And you're ready to go. Tell me about the 3 of wands. Three of wands, six of pentacles here. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like whatever situation this is, I feel like you're coming from three people. So 
this is that choice I feel like you chose between two people. This could have been an earth sign and a fire sign here. Tell me about an ace of swords. Tell me about this clarity. How did this come about? So something, you're definitely ending something. And it's pushing you forward. But this is this is what you want. Whatever this decision is, Cancer, this is what you want, ultimately. Tell me about this ace of swords. The hanged man. That's that waiting. You may have felt stuck as well. There's a lot of threes here. The hanged, the hanged man is a 12, which it reduces to a three. And then you have the three of wands and the three of pentacles. The high priestess, yeah. So this is something you've kept to yourself. This has been a secret. Yep. Temperance, you've been guided though. I feel like this is your inner guidance system, your higher self guiding you along the way. <laughs> They're showing me tapping on your shoulder. Are you listening? I'm hearing. Are you listening? And I feel like that are you listening is, are you listening to your intuition? Are you listening to your higher self? Are you hearing us? Us meaning your guides. Clarifying the Knight of Pentacles is the Ace of Cups. Yeah, it's been slow going towards this, this love. I told you I felt fire. King of Wands. Aries Leo Sag. This is love. Ace of Pentacles. This is an opportunity. This is love. You've got three aces here, Cancer. I mean, jeez. you got the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Cups, and the Ace of Pentacles. And I've only got 16 cards out of a 78-card deck here, right? How does this person that Cancer is going towards, how do they feel about Cancer? You are really in love with this individual. You... And if this hasn't happened yet, you will have two people to choose from cancer. But this person that you're choosing, you're very much in love with them. I feel like they are very good looking. They're saying very prominent. So they could be prominent in their field. Five of Swords. Okay, this person could feel like there are people around you and them that do not want you together because the Five of Swords is Frenemies cards. Um, card is my Frenemies card. Clarify the Five of Swords as to how this King of Wands feels about Cancer. Five of Cups. Whoops. Seven of Cups. Okay. This person, I feel like this is telling me how they're feeling. When you have both people and you're juggling both people, I feel like this, okay. I feel like this King of Wands did not know, I knew, sorry, this King of Wands knows about the other individual the other individual and i feel like it's an earth sign so i'll just say it's an earth sign doesn't have to be that's what they're displaying right now the fire sign knows about the earth sign the earth sign does not know about the fire sign so i feel like while you're juggling here i feel like this fire sign feels that there's a lot of people around you that do not want you together. Um, perhaps you have people that you know in common, but I'm also feeling that they're seeing you sad about this earth sign here. So 
I almost want to say that's the past and this is the present. So this earth sign may be from the past, maybe somebody that you knew as opposed to somebody that is, is newer. Okay, so one's older than the other. Like one, I feel like you met this earth sign before this fire sign. Let's say that. And I feel like they feel like an option because obviously they are, but they do know about the earth sign. How else do they feel about you? Yeah, they want you to just take a leap of faith. And you will. You will. They may also feel that you're not as emotionally vulnerable. They want you to bring down the house. They want you to create the tower and just end whatever needs to be ended here right with the death card and take a leap in their direction that's what they want they want you to be you know like enlightened to the fact that they are for you and you will because i don't feel this person is like pushing you right the devil capricorn energy hmm I feel like they, they feel like this other person is toxic. They see your sadness from that other person. Yeah, Queen of Swords, Wheel of Fortune. They're like, cut the shit already. Cut this person out so we can get on with our lives. Our divinity um, is worth it. Our divinity deserves a shot at true change here. This needs to begin. But again, I don't feel pushing. I feel that this is what they're thinking. I feel like they've communicated or will communicate this to you. Not harshly though. All right, so what's their intention with you? So you know Cancer. What's this King of Wands intention with Cancer? Six of Cups. They may see you as a twin flame or soulmate. Their intention is to love you like nobody's business. That's what I'm hearing. It's that childlike love, that innocent love. Very sweet. So what is your advice, Cancer? What's Cancer's advice? What's Cancer's advice? Justice. Oh, maybe some of you are married and this is that third party over here. This King of Wands, the third party. Okay. Because that is a divorce card, but that's also a twin flame card. They're wanting you to find balance. They're wanting you to go after whatever it is that you're passionate about with this Eight of Wands. They're wanting you to take action here. Okay, but do it in a balanced way. Listen to your intuition. That's what I'm getting with the Justice card. So what is your advice for Cancer? Insight. See beyond appearances, masks, cliches, and cultural stereotypes to gain insights. So see beyond that veil. And there are so many veils in the world, Cancer. They're wanting you to look beyond. And I have one more for Cancer. What advice? Procrastination. Stop focusing on your problems and excuses. Take a small step and do something constructive. So take a small step towards whatever goal that you have going on in your mind, whether that be love, whether that be career, uh, whatever that may be, Cancer, they're wanting you to stop procrastinating here, okay? All right, Cancer, I hope this resonated. Please drop a like below, share and subscribe if you already haven't, if you're interested in a personal reading. 
That way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below and please use the description box to click on the Etsy link there for a private reading if you are interested. There are a lot of impersonators and scammers about the tarot card community. That will take you directly to my Etsy shop where you can order a personal reading and know that when you get a personal reading from me, a tarot card reading, you will always see my face and receive a link that will be on YouTube on this channel forever and ever. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, comment, and hit that notification bell, guys. And I'll catch you on the flip side on the dailies. Namaste.